Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising, a weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump uh, right into it. Right. so the first card which stands for the topic of your Aquarius week is going to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here, which is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Then the third card stands for the positive aspect um, of your week, which refers to the uh, Star card. And then the last one, which refers to the guidance that you need to, uh, that you should, you know, incorporate into your week that is going to be the tree of pentacles a very peculiar reading um well the main topic of the reading it is that you are going to see a lot of a uh, efficiency into a certain endeavor into a certain either project or a certain friendship you know or or a thing that you would like to go along with you know thing that you want to participate into and this is when that person comes around, which tells you that you don't need it, right? That you that you are good without it. No different than, for example, you see an opportunity for a relationship and a friend of yours tells you, well, you don't want that person. You don't need that person to be good and so on and so forth, you know. But the, the peculiar thing, it is the, it is the guidance here, which urges you to accept advice so let's uh, i assume that the key to what these cards are truly saying is going to come into the catalyst as soon as we start um uh, scrutinizing the reading but beforehand let's run the cards one more time so we do have the four of pentacles which is the topic followed by the queen of pentacles which stands for the challenge Afterwards, it is the star card, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one, it is the tree of pentacles, which refers to the guidance. All right. So the four of pentacles here represents you sitting into rather a good foundation, you know, a foundation to jump into a career matters or to jump into leap into a relationship endeavors and etc, etc. But the thing with the Four of Pentacles is that you first need to think about, you know, how you can secure your current benefits, how you can secure your current blessings, so you can establish a, uh, how do you say, it? well, I always have a, a trouble expressing this, uh, this statement here, uh, so you can ensure your future in the short term of the sentence, all right? So you can make your future as predictable here as possible and to make as much preparations and to, um, yeah, to make as much preparations as you can and to make it as much foreseeable 
as you can. That happens as you take a defensive position in regards to your current uh, foundations, you know, and uh, solidify them as much as you can. The accompanied card here is going to be the hangman and the formation, it is a, a passive friends. Now the hangman comes in a very positive light here, expressing that whatever possessions you do have, you can constrain them in a such fashion that they will have no uh, room to move in a sense of that, you know, take it that way. You can close your treasury in a such way that no one can um, infiltrate it in any way. So let's say you know that you do have a good job offer to take and you want you, you want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with your marriage in any way. Well, should you take a defensive measures towards your marriage, you know, in regards to the new job offer, then it seems that these two things are going to go in, in full symbiosis, all right? or a, a vice versa, you do have an awesome job and suddenly someone comes around with a relationship potential, you may be afraid that that relationship could interfere with your job, but should you take the precautionary measures here in defense of your job, then they will, they can go along in simultaneously, you know, without interfering with each other. This is what these two cards here are pointing. And that will happen, you know, by you founding out a, um, how do I say it? A, a perspectives that you haven't thought up until this moment, you know, a, um, a, a resolutions that beforehand seemed, you know, ridiculous, preposterous is the word that I was searching for, but now they actually look a very, very reasonable. Now the next one, it is the challenge that you need to overcome and we do have this person, uh, self-absorbed person, very proud of uh, his or her achievements, you know, and a self-absorbed it seems that they're also selfish, you know, especially into this position. So what you are to this person, I mean, all right, they see you as a, um, a potential of their behalf. And now as you are solidifying on your positions, slowly but steady, you are restricting the way how that person is utilizing you to a point where you will serve no purpose any longer to their, to their life and to their agenda as well. So what happens then is that this person here of the Queen of Pentacles will try to win you back at their side, um, putting, how can I place it, a, a lesser value to your uh, to your endeavors here, either that relationship or either that career endeavor, you know, or, or endeavor into relationships as well. It is because should you jump into it, then you will have no time to deal with the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles in that case, loses a, a very, very valuable asset. The accompanied card, it is the Wheel of Fortune formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. So with this, with this, um, with this combo, uh, well, it's it kind of like does not relate to you directly, that particular combo. It simply says that the Queen of Pentacles here can do it without you, you know, it is just, it doesn't want to, or she or he doesn't want to. It's simply they, they have been stacked upon you being their property, if I may express it that way, and they don't want to give up from you uh, lightly, okay? So in a very extreme fashion, or a very extreme cases, you may expect some surreptitious moves, because make no mistake, the Queen of Pentacles is ready to do whatever it takes, even if it is, even if it crosses certain boundaries, to protect her or his possessions, okay? And how the Queen of Pentacles takes you as a possession, you know, you belongs to her for what it seems here from these cards, right? And you are now establishing your own uh, domain, so you are detaching and make, and, and make no mistake, that person does not like it, doesn't like it at all. That being said, going to the positive aspect of the of the uh, week, we do have the star card and the star card, the star, the star craft, I would say. Oh. The star card here only points to how beautiful future is in front of you, right? A beautiful future in the sense that whatever agenda you are forming right now, it has a, a lot of potential, but the potential will unfold in a, a long term. So it's this this week, it is only the week where you are 
solidifying your current positions, all right? Probably the next week you're gonna start moving forward toward, what, toward that new goal or that new agenda or these contiguous uh, relationship with career type of, uh, type of endeavor, you know? But the thing with the, with the star card is that it promises growth, guys, growth, growth in the long term, but also urges you to take uh, the matter seriously and to make as good plan as possible. Just take your time, all right? This card is a sign that the times of a turmoil are over. There is no reason for you to rush anything, you know? There is no reason for you to be frantic about a, an execution of a certain endeavor, you know? You just take as much time as you need in order to uh, scale the best possible approach toward the situation. Needless to say that the star card promises unfolding love, success, and unconditional support. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups and uh, the formation, it is a active neutrals that we do have. Now, with the Six of Cups, uh, you will be, uh, to the star card, you will be able to differentiate very well the pleasure from the responsibility, you know, do not mix, you will not mix up the uh, the professional behavior with the, uh, I don't know, you don't, you, you ain't gonna mix up the work with the pleasure, if I may say it that way, which kind of like solidifies the statements that you will be able to, to make it work in between your career and private life, you know, so I, I do believe that this is what it's all about here, a career and a, a private life, and, uh, yeah, there will be some compromises that you need to make here with these uh, with these two cards. You know, there will there will be some a uh, pleasant enterprises that you will have to give up from. All right, because you are to understand that you cannot have everything. But in the same time, giving up from these things, uh, you will kind of like uh, be acknowledge uh, acknowledging that is going to pay off eventually because you are going to have those two things working out together while. Um, should you try to, uh, you know, go with the old ways, if I may express it that way, neither of them is going to work, All right? <clears throat> and the last card that we do have for you, Aquarius, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, which is the... Um, the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So that speaks about cooperation, criticism, fruitful conversa conversations, support, through development, but it's not going to be from the Queen of Pentacles. As a matter of fact, I need one more card here, and that is going to be the Page of Cups. A change is looming on the horizon, a big one, all right? I could have said that in the star card, but it's just, it, it kind of eluded me. But now, uh, there is no mistaking it. It is a change that looms on the horizon, and you need to align according to the change. Passive, Friends, it is what we do have here. It is time for critical self-assessment. It is time for repositioning. It is time for attending to the overview rather than to the minor and irritating details. What we said, you need to make small compromises. So this is what it means to attend to the overview. The overview is more important than the minor details here, all right? <clears throat> and therefore, the deliberation and the conversations, and in generally the cooperation will be with your other self, what I, it is what I think of here with these two cards. It is like trying to cooperate with yourself, you know, to adopt different position, different opinion, or to acknowledge a certain critical self-assessment so you can align yourself in regards to the new times that are looming on the horizon. And they are very good according to the star card. I mean, they really promises you a great things. I don't want to say wish fulfillment. I would say uh, many other people would say that because this is what the star card promises, but it does depend how you play your cards out, all right? Because the star is a very prolonged card. It may be a the beginning of a thing that will happen in two years from now. Many things could happen in two years, all right? So it, it requires a, a constant drive. It requires a, a uh, consistency of well-found decisions and in this case a, a consistency of guarding your domain all right through compromises and through a, uh, a extended i would say you know extended sense of self-righteousness as well showing that you do have that strong backbone uh, that you can persevere even on your own even against 
the Queen of Pentacles. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.